Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi boys and girls, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey, today we're going to be reviewing square facts. What's a square facts, Mr. Woods? Well, let's take a look. So, um, first I'm going to show you 5 times 5. That's called a square fact. And there's a reason that they call it a square. Look at this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on one side. We can call it, let's call that a, a column. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Huh. We have 5 columns. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if we go this way, rows. So it's a 5 by 5. So 5, 5 times 5. How do we figure that out? Well, you should by now have your 5's down. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. But remember, each side has to be equal to the other. Let's take a look at 6 times 6. Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 going this way. And then each one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks. So if there's 6 blocks by 6 blocks, that's a square. 6 times 6. Well, Mr. Woods, I know 6 times 4. There you go. Let's, then you should know what 2 times 6 is. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 6 times 2, that's 12. So 24 plus 12 is 36. See how we're working on that? We're going to come back to this 6 by 6 here momentarily. But let me set up 7 times 7. So I'm going to have some piles. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I can have another 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I have a bunch of these piles. So I'm going to try to get them all in here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I'm going to squeeze this one into the middle right here. So there's seven piles of seven each. Oh, that's a lot to count, Mr. Woods. I understand that. But think about it this way. What do you know about your math facts? Well, I know that seven times two is equal to 14. Huh. There's 14 right here because I have two piles of seven, another 14. Let's do this, another 14. So 14 plus 14 is 28, plus another 14, hmm. So we have a 10 and a four, but we have 28, so that's 38 plus two, four more is gonna be 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, okay? So you got that far, and then you add seven more, which is 49. So seven times seven is equal to 49. See the little easy ways that you can learn how to do it. The best thing to do is to memorize your square facts or just your multiplication tables from zero through 12. For third grade, I'd say zero through 10, but once you get into upper grades, other than that, it's gonna be zero to 12 at the minimum. Okay, remember what I said about using the, the square fact for six? Well, let's take a look, so six times six. So we have six times six. Now, if I want to do 8 times 8, that's hard, Mr. Woods. I understand that's hard, but let's make it easy. Look at this. So I have 8 more here, and I need to add 2 to each of these columns. So let's do that. So now, I'm going, whoa, wait a minute. Let me pull these off to the side. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we know that 6 times 6 is 36, right? And then we have 2 times 6. We already talked about that. That's 12. So 36 plus 12 is 48. And then here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. So 48 plus 16. Well, let's think about that. Again, I have 48 and I have that 10 and 6 from 16. 48 plus 10 is 58, okay? I have six more, so I need two to make that 60. 
and then I have four more, and that's 64. Okay, you can figure it out. It's figure out a bowl. I want you to figure it out. You know, look at your, your strategy in your head and model it on the paper or using manipulatives. Model it out. Get it out and just try different ways to get your information across to what you need to do. Well, let's take a look. Let's say you don't have manipulatives. We can draw that out. Let's do 9 times 9. So let me do that real quick. Okay. Let's look at 9. Remember your nine times tables? Remember how I was talking about that, that you know, three times nine is 27 because the two numbers add up to each other. And what you do is you have that three in minus one, okay? And then, so that's gonna be two, but you know that the numerals need to add up to nine, so the next one is gonna be seven. So that's your easy way to do that. Here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dots going in one direction, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dots going in the other direction. That's a square fact. This is an array or a matrix, whatever you're working on and how you know it, but it's square. So I have nine here and nine there. <sighs> Mr. Woods, how do we do this? Break it up into chunks that you know of. So one, hold on a second. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna draw this line here. Look at that. You already know what six times six is, and that's 36. So I'm gonna put that down here. So there's 36. Oops, got it going the wrong way. There's 36, okay, and then you have 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, that's 3 times 6, so you can say plus 18, oh. and then I have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I just went over that with you, so 3 times 9 is 27, so I can add all these up. See how having a large number that like this should not keep you from finding the answer. Eventually, you're going to just go, 9 times 9 is 81. But let's take a look. So I have 36 plus 18 plus 27. Okay, so we add the 1s first. So 6 and 8, that's 14, plus 7 is 21. So I add that 2 over here because that's the... 10, I have two tens, and I have that one here. And then I'm adding the tens column up here, so two and three make five, six, seven, eight, 81. There you go. Boom, mind blown. I just showed you from your fives all the way through your nines. Now you're gonna get a bonus round. Let's look at tens. Look at these, look at this. I love using these. Look at this. Let's take a look. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten base ten blocks. Well, wait a minute. I just said base ten. What does that mean? Well, each block has ten squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can count up these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but there's ten of them, so I, ten times ten, I add a zero to the end, remember that, so it's like seven times ten is seventy, so ten times ten, I add a zero to the end, into the one spot, pushes everything else over, so I'm going to have one hundred. There you go. So there's, there are your uh, square facts from five to ten. Remember that math fluency replaces math anxiety, and to do that, it takes practice. This is some of the ways to practice it. This is some of the ways to get through all of those square factors in a decent amount of time. Use your prior knowledge to solve the problem at hand. I'm Mr. Woods Teaches, and remember to like, share, comment, 
and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches.